Hi, I'm Alex Alguacil, concert pianist and piano professor, and this is the third and final part of a presentation about Fantasia Bética by Manuel de Falla. In the first and second parts, I talked about the musical language and the instruments that Falla wants to transfer to the piano, but in this third part, I'd like to offer a more personal idea from a performer's point of view, and to share a musical image that I have when I perform this piece, that is the image of fire. This is, of course, a personal and subjective idea. Nowhere seems to say that Falla had the image of fire when composing Fantasia Bética, but I believe it helps from the performer's point of view to imagine the fire during the execution of this piece, in order to create some momentum for the performance, to achieve a more powerful interpretation, and to shape a musical image that can unify and bind the piece together. Falla actually used the motive of fire in one of his most popular compositions, El Amor Brujo, Love the Sorcerer, and I believe similar examples can be extracted from there and applied to Fantasia Bética, as well as examples from other compositions about fire. One can get the inspiration for these ideas by listening to the ballet El Amor Brujo, where the motive of fire appears accompanied by the powerful rhythm and expression of the flamenco music, which metaphorically seems to convey the fire. Then we can bring these ideas into the interpretation of Fantasia Bética. But we can also get inspiration from other composers and other works for piano about fire, like those from Scriabin or Debussy, and finding that composers use similar ways to describe the fire at the piano, using trills, tremolos, fast scales and arpeggios, and glissandos that symbolize fire. Like, for example, those quick tremolos that describe the sparks of fire in Debussy's fireworks. or arpeggios across different octaves of the keyboard describing big and colorful waves of fire, in this case, fireworks. Or those furious and lightning tremolos in Scriabin's Bears la Flamme, which describe the nervous movement of a flame. And of course, glissandos that both Falla and the PC have used. Manuel de Falla uses this kind of writing too in Fantasia Bética. Trills, tremolos, glissandos, and to me that helps to create this image of fire. Falla seems to get influence from other composers too, such as the VC, but also influence from himself, from his own works, like El Amor Brujo, which contains this famous fire dance that starts with a trill that resembles the flame of a fire. Let's keep in mind that the same Arthur Rubinstein, the dedicatee of this work, thought that Fantasia Bética was an enlarged version of the fire dance. And to me, we can certainly see how this fire trill gets enlarged, gets amplified, and gets expanded through the whole piece, creating this fire image that we see for a considerable period of time during the piece. Let's see some examples at the piano of what I personally interpret as fire in some of the textures that Falla writes at the piano, and let's see how this fire trill gets enlarged to depict the fire in many different ways. <laughs> This fire trill will turn into a higher flame going up in register through larger scales each time until it turns into a fire glissando. Falla had used glissandos at the piano before when representing fire, in Amor Brujo as well, right before the Dance of the Terror, when a flying spirit appears in the form of a whirling fire or will o' the wisp.
In addition to glissandos representing fire, I see expanding scales and arpeggios describing colorful fire, slightly similar to what the VC does in Fed Artifice. <laughs> And I see small waves of fire in many arabesque motifs that are spread around the piece, like little whirling flames. And they also seem to get enlarged and come out from that fire dance drill, turning into a dance of flames, represented by the turns of a flamenco dancer. In the same way we hear tremolos in Scriabin and Debussy that represent the movement of a flame, I interpret Falla's writing as tremolos too, while accompanying melodies like fire in the background. I hope these ideas about the fire in Fantasia Bética will help you have a different view of this work, one that can give unity and character to the piece, and that can help you achieve a more powerful interpretation if you are performing it. So I hope you like these three videos about Fantasia Bética, and they can help you get a better understanding of this work, that sometimes it's been a little bit underrated because of the difficulty of hearing so many notes, glissandos, and flamenco figurations. I'll leave you the link to the other two parts and the pieces that I've been talking about in this video, as well as my own interpretation of the piece, and you can subscribe if you'd like to receive notification about my next videos.